everybody my name is Vlob and welcome back to another tutorial today I will show you how I like to paint the skin I hope you find this video very helpful and let's go today I'm using this sketch as an example to show you guys how the coloring process is done this is my OC Itsuki by the way, if you are not acquainted with him, say hi. So let's go. I did my sketching portion and finished my liner. So it is really clean and nice for your eyes. I will definitely upload a full speed paint or time lapse video for the entire portrait once it's finished. So stay tuned for that. And first of all, we're going to start off by choosing a perfect base color for the skin. If you guys want, I can also make a video about how I like to choose and plan out my colors. It does take a few trial and errors to actually understand what is the type of vibe that I want to go with. But it eventually get fixed up. So if you guys want to know, I can definitely show you guys that. I take my time to choose the colors properly. So these are my chosen colors. If you guys want, you can take a screenshot if that. But let's continue. So I will use these colors in combinations with each other to create the perfect skin tone of my preference. So for the base color, uh, I have used this very pale yellowish kind of shade. If you want to go ahead for more of a tan dark skin, please feel free to do so. And I will start off by adding the first shades of the hair. So in this case, I will add a layer on top of the base paint layer. We'll add this and on a clipping tool settings. All of my above layers or the shading layers are always going to be on clip and mask so I don't have to remove the excess uh, paints because it's kind of annoying and waste of time. So I'm using an orange shade firstly to add the initial shadows of the hair on his face. Uh, let me remind you this is there are like not wrong and right ways to draw a skin but if you want to draw like me this is the steps that you might want to follow. So I just cancelled it right now because I forgot to add the gradient. So officially the step 2 or uh, after the like base paint, the step 2 is going to be to add some gradient. I'm using a slightly darker peach color to add the mm, dimensions to his face. Oh, also I used the brush airbrush tool to do the gradient thing. Now I'm using pen fade to add the additional shadows of the hair yeah i cancelled the previous one because you know it's all about trial and error so now the first layer of shadows that i'm adding is the shadows of his bangs that are actually falling on his hair sorry on his forehead harsh shadow lines I like to use some intermediate shades that will kind of blend the harshness and give them a soft touch to the skin tone personally I really like to use at least two to three intermediate shades you really don't have to if you like harsh shadow type of art style please feel free to skip this step I'm using the same brush with slightly reduced opacity and I will add other shadows on the dark, darker side of the face. And as always, I cannot talk today. So yeah. If you precisely want to know where I like to add the shadows, is it is going to be the behind the nose, under the bangs, under the lips and on the jawline. Yeah. Yeah, it is called jawline. So you can also see I am using the another intermediate shade that will really help 
to create another soft gradient to the shadows. It is always better to choose a light source or the direction of light before you actually start painting the skin because that is um, one of the main guide that will help you to decide where you want to put shadows or and highlights. Since I want to keep this tutorial pretty similar, simple and easy to follow, I have chosen the very simple front light so the, uh, the portion of his face which is comparatively away from the viewers are going to be darker and the front area is going to be lighter. Touch the neckline a little bit so I am going to add the first layer of shadow as we did for his face and we will like paint all the crevices and the ups and downs of his really defined neckline. I have added a collarbone to like really spice things up a little bit because why not? We all love spicy things, especially when it comes to anime boys. Please tell me that I'm not the only one who sims over fantasy men. I really cannot be the only one, can I? So here also notice I added another transitioning shade or the intermediate shade. And let's do another layer of darker colors of shading. So first of all, don't forget to add some contour to the nose like you do it on your makeup. If you are someone who is into makeup, you know what I mean. So let's go ahead and finish our neckline. I don't know if you guys noticed but I have three different color setup uh, or the droplets on the side where I chose the colors like one of them is blue there is orange and there is red these are basically the balancing tones what does a balancing tone means well it helps to reduce the oversaturationness or some blinding colors in your art like if you are more towards using warmer tones in like almost all of your portraits or if you paint for this matter of fact if you have uh, made the skin too warm you can use some light blue shadings on the darker areas that will help to balance out the warmthness and vice versa if you had painted the skin being too cool toned and you want some little bit of warmth to it you can add red and orange tints to some darker areas to balance out what the issue is Another thing that I just missed is that I like to use some muted purple colors on the darkest part of the shadows for the same purpose like balancing the tones and having some visual interest. So if you guys want to add some like something like that you can also go ahead and do it. It is a muted purple shade. Now let's give him some eye makeup. Uh, the browns around his eyes actually helps with the fact that the eye is actually sitting on the skin and it's not floating on top of it but also adding some browns around the eyes helps to you know really make things attractive in a weird way so i like to always add some eye makeup to the eyes even if it's just a subtle brown shade so i'm adding even darker browns to really oversaturate the things if you've been to my channel for a while now, you probably know that I like to add um, really good saturations to my art. The light color aesthetic is really not my thing. So if uh, that kind of bothers you, sorry for that. I always tend to forget to paint the ears and at the finishing touch, I often do that. But thank goodness, this time it's a big no-no. I remember to paint the ears. Here is one of a quick tip that uh, suppose you have finished the skin but you still want to change uh, the little bit of hues and saturations but you was like I have come this far it will be really difficult to change and go to every layer every single layer and change it it's kind of annoying you can also go ahead and use that FX filter on the side you can add Gaussian blur you can adjust the hue and saturation on the color adjustment option so yeah, in case you didn't know that, I always like to add some blush to his faces because that kind of makes him go cheeky. 
so i used a really warm peach tone again went to the fx filter option used the gaussian blur to really blur it out so it you know balances out seamlessly now on the top of that i added another layer clipped it added to the multiply layer settings to add few more details and on top of that in another layer i added some highlights at this point he kind of looks sick because i haven't done his lips you know that giving concealer lips effect so let's go ahead and do that since it is a male character i will i can i mean i can go into making dramatic lips but for now to keep things simple i will also keep his lips color pretty simple not like super plump or juicy but if we, of course you also have that option if you want to go out so look now he kind of looks more alive we have removed the concealer lips effect do you all remember about the muted purple shade that i just talked like a minute ago here is how i do it you can see this purple shade is not really purple but more looks like more of a dark brown but it actually balances out all the browns and the peaches that we have applied on the skin really helpful and also i added a muted blue on his jawline this will also do the same thing just a different variety since it was a skin tutorial i just added the eyes to make him more you know poppy and more finished but here is the final result i hope you guys found this video helpful and these are another helpful and entertaining videos you if you might want to watch and i'll see you guys there bye bye and stay cute